मटर गश्ती खुली सड़क में तगड़ी तड़क भड़क में Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, you know tomorrow, day after, next year. I don't know. Right now, uh, you know, I've I've uh, I've kept away from the temptation, but never say never. I don't know. And it's been eight years for both of you in the industry. Yeah. Many congratulations for yeah, that. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. How has the journey been so far? Been lovely. You know, it doesn't feel like eight years. Uh, Uh, you know, our film released uh, on the same day eight years back. Uh, but you know, we feel so much of love and so much of uh, um, gratefulness to, towards media, towards uh, the audience, towards people from the film industry because they've really given us chances. They've really given us a lot of pats on our backs, a lot of brick bats, uh, you know, and everything. And it's 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 been such a wonderful journey that I I only look forward to the next few years. You know, the films that Deepika does in her life, the films that I myself do, uh, and really. Really grateful for everything. What's your favorite film that both of you done together? Well, we've only done two, but I would say Tamasha. I think for both of us, in a strange way, my first film with Imtiaz and his first film with Imtiaz, he as a director has opened something within us. Uh, to me, it happened in Love Actual when we were working together. I felt like I was uh, transforming as an actor. I was. Yeah. discovering new things about myself i started enjoying my craft um and from what i hear from ranveer i think it was a similar experience for him and rockstar it's not that he had not given phenomenal performances before that yeah. but there's a certain understanding or equation that we share with imtiaz where i think even in rockstar he started understanding his characters with a little more differently with maybe more depth or whatever it, it is you know that they that they discovered with each other So um but I also feel like in a way Ranbir and I both look up to Imtiaz in a sense uh things that he tells yeah. us uh, good bad you know whatever it might be I think we take it very very seriously uh so we admire him we look up to him there's almost like that mentor and uh, uh what do you say mentor and uh, student st- student sort of equation uh but without the sternness and the strictness there's while it's that it also has the ease of uh, friends you know uh, he's someone who's uh, non judgmental uh, you know you can talk to him about any aspect of your life whether professional or otherwise he shares about his with us um, and we take each other's uh, suggestions and opinions very very seriously You know, She's so stiff. No, uh, I think I think the first impression I had of her this was see when Om Shanti Om came out, Deepika became the darling of India. Yeah. You know, uh, it was accepted from the first film itself yeah. that this one is someone who's going to challenge the greats of uh, Indian cinema. Uh, but I think uh, when I, when we worked together in Bashna, as you know, yeah. we both were so new. Yeah. You know, we were both trying to find ourselves, both trying to kind of understand uh, films. Uh, so it was like a, a little bit of uh, togetherness that was happening. Uh, but then when i worked with her after a period of 3 years on, on ye jawani hai diwani that's when i just realized that you know what a jump this actress has taken this person has taken uh, you know her understanding her grasp how the way she's expressing emotions she just kind of got it uh, and that was was very hard moment to see it's not it's obviously not the most ideal situation i think that um you know it is correct in its place as far as the film is concerned as far as the journey of these two characters are concerned um and more than anything i'd like to believe that we're people who would not do something provocative to to sensationalize a film uh it's done in a in a very aesthetic manner and it's done because it's correct for the film it's correct for those characters and for the journey that they're going through in the film Having said that, I think we respect their decision, okay. and uh, if they feel that's what is correct, then we go with that. Yeah, we didn't really have a problem. I don't think it was as severe as reported. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not that they've cut something. It's not that you know we kind of challenged. They actually, in a way, paid us a compliment. They said that uh, the the chemistry was a bit too much for them to handle. So I think it's it, there's uh, you okay. know it's. it's You know, uh, it's it's it's. It's not going to affect our film, honestly. Yeah. But you know, to be honest, it's an ongoing debate, you know, in everyone's mind because, uh, you know, India is such a progressive country. There are new filmmakers <coughs> happening, uh, coming in. Actors are, you know, uh, becoming brave to kind of experiment with different characters. So yes, you know, we want a certain kind of freedom to express ourselves through certain films. You know, Deepika, me, Imtiaz, we all are responsible uh, uh, artists. We're not going to kind of. Uh, 
do something on screen which will impact the society in a negative way. We want to make a positive impact on society through our movies. Uh, but you know, having said that, you know the censorship or, or the people involved, we respect them. Uh, but taking things forward, I, you know, I hope that they can become a little bit more lenient and a little bit more understanding, a little bit more open-minded where art and films are concerned. This one's for both of you, since it's Diwali. Tell me your favourite memory of Diwali. You've done a few ads with your mother, right? Yeah, I just did one with my parents and I think exactly like the ad says, I think the beauty of it is how predictable it is. Uh, the fact that you know that you're going to wear new clothes, the fact that you know, you're going to celebrate it with your family, that there's going to be a certain ritual or a certain routine that at this time a puja will happen, your mother will call out to you in the same way, uh, the gifts will be distributed, sweets will be distributed, everyone will sit together and eat, you do a puja, um, you know, you light crackers, you light the diyas. Um, I think that's the beauty of it, that, uh, that some things never change. Uh, pretty much, you know what she said, it's always been like a very family oriented uh, uh, festival, you know, where we make sure that, uh, you know, we are with family. I go to my grandmother's house, I go to RK studio, we do a Lakshmi Puja, Lakshmi Puja at home, wear new clothes, give gifts to every, you know, your staff, your loved ones. And then we go to the respective parties, parents go to, you know, their friends, we go to our friends. But I think this year everyone's going to go to Amitabh Bachchan's house because he calls the whole fraternity, uh, you know, to celebrate. And it's always fun, you know, because uh, everyone's under one roof and, you know, there is a lot of positivity, there's a lot of happiness, a lot of, like, you know, complimenting people about their work, a lot of criticism. Uh, so it's a good time for, the, for everybody to come under one roof and celebrate. I'm sure they have and they should be, you know, it's not in a way that it's uh, conflicting in a way that we've had fights. Uh, but Deepika has a very strong opinion, I have an opinion, Imtiaz has an opinion, so if she doesn't feel right about something, uh, you know, that it, filmmaking is not dictatorship. It's about, uh, uh, you know, everybody coming in together, you know, with their ideologies, with their uh, take, and it's a, it's a marriage of thoughts. Uh, and I think we enjoy that also, you know, I've never worked on a film with Deepika where it's been like, no, no, we have to do it this way and you just do it this way. It's a lot of give and take, it's a lot of improvisation, a lot of care and respect for each other's work and talent that we can take things forward. Are of course, you, uh, yeah. you know, I, I mean, my, from my first film, my first film was a big disaster and, and yeah. <clears throat> uh, you know, when it released. So I feel the pressure, I feel the heat, you know, I feel that the audience trusted me and, uh, uh, you know, paid their hard-earned money to come and see my movie and I didn't, uh, I didn't entertain them, you know, I let them down. Uh, so I feel that I have to work at it, you know, I have to kind of earn their trust. Uh, because there's nothing like a box office success. You know, we're not making movies for ourselves. We're not making movies for critics. We're making movies for audiences. And the least we can do is make good, engaging, entertaining films. I haven't signed anything. So what's the plan? I don't know what the plan is. There's, a, there's no plan actually. I think I have been listening to some, uh, reading some scripts and, and meeting some directors. But um, I'm not in any rush. Um, I think I've had a good year this year with uh, Piku and now with Tamasha and Bajirao Mastani coming up and I think it'll take me a while to get over that and actually sink my teeth into something else. And you know, to be honest, uh, I've been in touch with Deepika since Ye Jawani, Ye Diwani, we worked together a lot. She's actually worked the most amongst all the new a lot. Uh -huh. You know, she's had actually uh, chen, uh, cocktail, Chennai Express, Ye Jawani, Ye Diwani, uh, Ram, Ram Leela. Uh, race, Piku, uh, Tamasha, Finding Finding Happy. That's a lot of films that happened two years ago. See, I think uh, I don't I don't understand the question of dream role. Honestly, I think my attempt as an actor is to take on whatever film or role that I find exciting and make that a dream role. Uh, you make it as exciting and challenging, and you hope that in the process of making certain films and playing certain characters, you make them iconic. Um, and make them exciting for yourself. So I'm, I mean, I'm happy to, you know, play the girl, this so-called girl next door. For example, I'm just giving you an example. Play this girl next door uh, sort of character, but still make it challenging for myself and make it exciting and interesting. Were you worried about him after the Bombay Velvet's failure? <coughs> Was I worried about yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not at As all. Not at all. No, okay. Um, he knows what he's doing, you know, okay. and... Uh, uh, it doesn't surprise me because I think that everyone's career goes through its uh, ups and downs. Right, right. Um, what you can't take away from someone is their uh, talent, uh, which he's, you know, there's abundance Blessed of that and yes, more. Actually. And uh, he's also very, very hardworking. He's yeah. not someone who takes 
uh, his lineage for granted he's not someone who takes his uh, work for granted and uh, he's not someone who takes the audience or the film for granted um i've also been through a phase in my career where some of my films back to back did not work but we all know i think it's certain maturity you realize that it's a part of everyone's journey and everyone's career and uh, it's only going to make him a better person yes i have okay. uh, but to be honest in the last 10 days i have been taking drugs and uh, <laughs> you know, illegal drugs but uh, i I've, i've been a two packet smoker and uh, you know to be honest uh, when you're young it's fine you know uh, you you have good ha uh, hormones you say hormones or or genes yeah. but as i was growing older you know i i reached 31 32 because i'm an actor i'm in a visual medium i felt like my skin was aging yeah. i was looking older on screen yeah. uh, you know your stamina gets a bit lesser so i i did it for for that purpose uh, also i wanted to be healthy and i hope that you know being an actor i can uh, I can give inspiration to people who want to quit smoking uh, you know because mm -hmm. it, it, I, I was a big smoker yeah. and and when you give it up trust me life is so much better you know you have so much of free time to think about other things <laughs> instead of thinking of lighting a cigarette and and it feels <laughs> great you know I I feel more alive I feel I feel like a better person No no I'm very aware of social media let me tell you you know I've gone as a ghost yeah and I and I and I go plenty of times like, as a ghost to, I had to put out a tweet and he's like no 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 don't use this emoji Use this one. Like he's he was showing me oh, which one. So I'm use. very much aware of it, uh, but you know I've spoken about this a lot. You know, uh, and I don't want to keep repeating myself. I, I, like I said, never say never. You know, social media has become such a big platform. Uh, you know, today and and especially in in the field of films that we come from, uh, it's very important to be uh, relevant on on such a platform. Uh, so hopefully, you know, I can muster some courage and come on it. Right now, I'm not on it because I feel against it. I'm just not on it because I feel less confident about. It. But you know he's been like that since uh, I was born. Uh, you know he always invites trouble at home with my mother. Uh, so I, I didn't I'm expect sorry, any less. I'm sorry, he's very entertaining. It's, yeah, and it's, it's enter you know he speaks his mind, and that's what's really good about him. Uh, unfortunately, I think in this country you can't really speak your mind. You know anything you say is misconstrued, and especially if you're an actor, every word, every philosophy, every thought, every picture is has so much of uh, interpretations uh, that it's hard. But I don't think he really cares about that. You know he's going to continue speaking his mind. One last question. You've really done it very well when you done the Devan and Vidhan Mathur. Yeah. I did, uh, you know, because I'm not a good uh, mimic artist, so I I worked with uh, a mimic artist. Uh, you know, he trained me for a week, and I think Imtiaz just writes such good dialogues. You know, he writes such good scenes that it's not really an actor's performance, but it's the kind of the scene and the vibe of the of the whole uh, world that works. Uh, but I'm really happy, you know, that I got a chance to pay homage to Dev Saab uh, in a movie. Nothing, same is, same is, nothing has nothing changed. Nothing has changed. Nothing, has nothing changed. will ever change, and nothing should ever change. Okay. We were actually uh, two days back. Uh, we were uh, he had a celebrity dinner because I was coming back, and then we went to a, a bar. Uh, so I, I went, but Imtiaz told me that he spent a good two hours with her, and I think it's a similar conversation that probably he had during Love Actual, where he just talks to her, you know, and he and he's so happy to kind of hang out with Deepika, and he always tells me, "Yeah, this girl is this girl is." this girl has something you know this girl has something which he still has not discovered yet so i think there is a lot of more that imtiaz has to discover the because that he's going to work more with her you know give her another challenging role and i think that's always exciting for actors you know that when you work with directors twice there is not much that you can surprise them with you know because they know you so well they know your your look that you're going to give or when you're happy how you're going to act but i think imtiaz feels that dipika there is no set pattern you know she's she's someone who's like a volcano which will just come out in any how any form <laughs> okay wow. that's it thank you so much thank you everybody can i have an autograph